Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome your beautiful faces. It's Wednesday morning. It's about eight o'clock, half seven, eight o'clock. And we've got a bit of a change of job. We are changing job here at Rummage Around today. So without further ado, smash that like button. Let's try and hit 125 likes today. That would be amazing. Follow me, let's see what we get up to today, being a UK eBay full-time reseller. So, yeah, right, we've got to move all. Put it in the Corsa. And then we're gonna drive to North Wales. But don't worry, we aren't just doing that today. We're obviously gonna to go to the new unit and continue to get that organized. We've got some orders to pick. We've got some sales to show. So yes, it's gonna be a jam-packed day, but the first job is, is get these racking all the way up to North Wales, probably go and hit the beach maybe-ish, depending on time, and then we're gonna crack on with more work. So it's gonna be an absolute jam-packed video today. So please do strap yourself in, grab your popcorn, grab a drink, and uh, follow us on today's journey. Wow, I think I underestimated how much racking I actually do have. So, off to Wales we go. And then we'll hit the unit and crack on getting that organized. But also, this container is nearly emptied. So that's always a positive sign. Next stop, Wales. Oh, wow. This place is beautiful. We've made it to the sunny North Wales. Yeah, just wanna give a massive shout out to Tyler. Um, yeah, legend. He's actually put us onto a few charity shops as well. So we're gonna quickly hit a few charity shops while we're here. He's told us to come to a place called Rill or Ryle and uh, some good charity shops here apparently. Just stopped at the Morrison's to get a drink and a, and a bacon sandwich for breakfast. And yeah, let's see where the day takes us. But yes, the racken has been dropped off. Again, Tyler, thank you so much for the purchase. And uh, we're now here going to do some charity shopping. But yeah, Tyler, I hope you do enjoy the racking and I am loving the setup that you've got going over there. So yeah, keep smashing it, buddy. We're now here at the charity shops. So hopefully we can find some bits to pay for the fuel to get up here. Right, we've entered a Bernardo's donation center. These things can be really good. No, oh, that's a shame, this sweater shop tag. It's just a plain t-shirt. It is single stitch though, two pound. Is it a decent size, double XL? Tell you what, I wonder if I can squeeze 20 quid out of that. It's always worth just checking like the bottoms of uh, tractors because some tractors are worth a little bit of money. I'm not sure if you can see that in there, but in the chassis of the tractor, it actually does say Britons. That's a Britons New Holland T80 tractor. And that's actually probably worth a little bit of money. So uh, depending on how much this is, depends how much if I go and buy it. But I do feel like it's missing a seat, so I think I'm just gonna put it back because I think it's broken. But yeah, definitely have a look underneath. Tractors, if you say Britons, definitely worth picking up. Yeah, there isn't really that much for us today, I don't think, in this one. I think we're just gonna be a little bit picky as well because we are still trying to move into the new unit. So we don't wanna be filling it even more with this stuff. Obviously, if it's a banger, then we'll pick it up but uh, yeah a lot of this is just bread and butter stuff which we don't really need at this time charity shop number two well as soon as we got in the sooner we get out it's not very good here at all the only thing that's pretty interesting is look at this for a river island tag that's about as interesting as this place gets next stop british heart foundation but i think this is a furniture one yeah sometimes they have good electronics but uh, I mean, that doesn't seem too bad. But yeah, I'll come to the home ones to look at the electronics because nine times out of 10, there's some good stuff here. If I'm being honest today, I don't feel like taking this home with us because we parked the car quite far away. So I think I'm just gonna leave that there for now. But I've sold this before. That's worth about 40 quid. Oh, I'm gonna think in here. Mm, nah, doesn't look good, does it? Let's be honest. I think we'll go on to the next one. Next stop, Sense Charity Shop. Ooh, found this brand because of John Luke, Tolchin. Happy days. Yeah, it's a great little brand, this Tolchin. Massive shout out to John Luke. Uh, I think it's of women's, if I'm being honest. So, but she was get like 30 quid for that. Happy days. Normally get about 25, 20 quid for this. 
It's a bit of a plain design, if I'm being honest, but Kabichi, V-neck. Yeah, go on it. And there's another one, but it's got a bit more going to them, but it's a bit more expensive. But again, should be 20, 25 quid. We even found a pair of Brooks Levitate for three pound and 50p. Look at them, they're my size. And I've actually been on the lookout for a pair of Brooks Levitate. Ugh. Oh mate, these might be kept. They're my size, three pound 50. We're actually making a decision of not getting this kabichi just because it's probably a little bit bobbly. So we're gonna put that back. Uh, we're also actually taking this one back because that has got a hole, so that can also go back. That's a shame because it's like I said, it's about a 20 25 pound jumper, especially now that Q4 is on the route. So they're back. It's been about a couple of hours uh, from the last clip, but we're now back home. We're just gonna load up the car to go to the unit and crack on with some stuff there. But I've got a cool little gift from John Luke. Well, it's not a gift, I paid for it but this already came, which is incredible service considering I paid for this yesterday and it's already in my hands. And it even has a little thank you sticker. So if you don't know already, John Luke uh, got an absolute score at the car boot. He got these Cream Tea London brand new with tags, probably from the 90s, brand new with tags. And I just had to have them. Uh, yeah, we've got one of each design. We've got the Lonely Island one, we've got the Mad Dog one, we've got this one, and we've got that one. But, super, super happy with these. I'm going to try one on and see what they look like. Oh, mate, the Mad Dog tee is looking fire. Look at that as well. Single stitch. Look at the size of the tag. Mental. And it's even got the original, like, uh, unbelievable. But that is a hella design. And it's got that on the back. So we're going to try one of these on, see what the fit is like. Oh, yes. Liking that. And it fits really, really nice. Not sure about this big thing here. It's a bit of annoying, but look at that. That is, that is fire. 10 out of 10. Lovely job. I had to have it. As soon as I saw it in the video, I wanted it. So I had to get it. I tell you, I tell you what, these are absolutely cracking. We've got Catherine Blow on the island. Look at that print. It's insane, and the, I've genuinely never seen that logo before. Loving the single stitch. This will go into my sort of vintage t-shirt collection that I'm starting to build. Uh, but yeah, that is a thing of beauty. And I'm not gonna lie, I will probably wear every single one of these multiple times. I tell you what, this one isn't bad either. A nice little, uh, what was that I say? Balance and Act Philip Schofield, I think. <laughs> Green Tea London. The color on that is incredible. Loving the blues, loving the red, loving the brown. Tell you what, 10 out of 10. Yeah, I'm very, 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 very happy with that. But we need to get to the unit and actually crack on with some, some organisation. We need to actually pick some orders as well, get them packed. It's currently, what, half past one, pushing two o'clock now. So time is really ticking today. But we've done a lot. We've obviously driven to Wales and back. And now we're going to load the car up and get cracking. <laughs> Oh, the car is loaded with boxes today. I think we're just going to get the packing area pretty much completed. But I do apologise, I've probably got the air con on too loud. But yes, I'm absolutely green cracking. It's so hot. The, the week that we get the keys is the hottest week that we've ever had this summer, which is crazy. But yeah, we're off to the unit now and uh, we'll crack on with some work. Well, unit, we meet. What the? What the? What on earth has happened here? Oh my god, is that actually broke as well? Oh, these are these are just top quality, mate. Top quality purchase for rubbish here, for feck's sake. How was a what? I think we've come to a conclusion that we are going to go and spend some money on metal ones because clearly the woven fabric ones are part of crap. Don't buy the woven ones. And also, I think I'm going to tack it against the wall so it just keeps it pretty more, pretty, uh, pretty sturdy. We will still use them ones because we can use them for like unlisted stock and stuff and for drying for a few trainers. So it's not the be all and end all, but it's not great. Uh, considering they've only been used for like 
two or three days and I've ordered giveaway. So it is what it is. I've ordered two of them metal ones now. They should be with me tomorrow. And uh, we'll, we'll start again. It's all about <laughs> restarted. Oh. Anyway, we need to crack on with some work because I feel like the day is literally just flying and I feel like I've done uh, nothing. Okay, Lee Dokley Doo postage is 38 pound and 67 pence today. You know what? I think today is a write-off. The zebra printer, it just doesn't want to do anything. Oh boy. Finally, finally we're rocking with some labels. Now we need to pick the orders and get them packed. I'll tell you what, makes a good little scar. Right, right, it's time. We're actually gonna pick some orders now. FR1 and we got sold these vans. Vans sold for 17 99 free postage. And a big shout out to FR1, you know, for standing semi strong when freaking FR2 tried a rugby tackle it during the night. Next item is in this box here. A beautiful pair of Nike Air Max R's. They sold for 64 99 I think. I took an offer, I had them up for 75 took an offer for 65 They're going via the uh, uh, authentication program. Never had a problem with the authentication program before. Uh, and I probably sell about three or four items of trainers a week there. So yeah, fingers crossed. These are A-OK. -okay. Next item that is sold is in the D-Box and we've sold this Epson Multipack 18. This has got all the colours. That's over £20 plus postage. And that is in fact part of the £1 challenge. So happy days. And I tell you what, we've got a really nice, perfect size box for something like this. I've had these feelers for absolutely years and they finally sold for £14 free postage. Well worth it, right? I'm only joking. We sold one of these safety first extension kits that sold for £14.99. We paid £2 from Smith's from about two months ago. So yeah, nice little RA and we've got a couple more to go. And the last item is in the P box. It's a pair of G-Star jeans. I'm gonna have to go and find them. And here they are, G-Star Raw 5204s, sold for £25 free postage. Not bad for a pair of G-Star, right? <laughs> Right, that's all the picking and the packing done today so far. Let's crack on with uh, whatever we're going to do. Maybe organise some of this. It's that time of the day where we end five listings, which are going to be these five here. Sell similar and hopefully it will push this listing a little bit further on in the eBay ranking system. Remember, sell similar not end and relist i have actually dropped the price on every single one of these items by a couple of quid hopefully that will give it a new lease of life i am trying to get that into my daily routine every single day because i truly do believe it can help push sales forward and at the end of the day because i haven't listed that much if anything at all since i've moved in here because i'm trying to organize everything at least it's some sort of activity on the store. But I do recommend that you list every single day, obviously. Uh, but when you've got a store to uh, reorganise and get in here, it's easier said than done. Yeah, it's not all uh, sunshines and rainbows. We did have a return request this morning. And she's put it down to wrong size or doesn't fit. Ouch, a £55 return. Hey, 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 hey. At least I'll show you the good, the bad and the ugly here. <sighs> It's been a bit of an ugly day, really, hasn't it? Racking's not worked properly, it's fallen over, it's broken, and now we've had a £55 return. And I tell you what, we've also had another couple of return requests as well. Change of mind, didn't like the item. I had one today, right? And it was DVD player, and he said, don't really know how to work it. So, didn't like it. Bloody hell, it's just, uh, it's just put a DVD. Put the DVD in the drive and uh, watch it. That's all you got to do. Right, off it pops to FR1. I tell you what, if this racking falls over tonight, it doesn't matter because we've ordered some new ones. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yes, we have ordered some new ones of these because look at the disaster we're working with here. Yeah, the, basically this just, yeah, they collapsed. What a waste of money. What am I supposed to do with this? I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to wait until the racking is here because I'm not about the double handled life. We're just going to leave it on the floor until until the racking comes they should come tomorrow I did, I did do it through amazon prime so hopefully come tomorrow um, hopefully early ish maybe so we can get them in and built oh yeah remember these shoes that we bought to uh, potentially keep 
Well, they are in fact a little bit tight, so they are going to be sold. I guess we have to start skewing some of these boxes on. It's currently five o'clock. I have no idea where the day has gone, but we need to start. We need to skew up a few of these at least before we go today. But first, our uh, little clove hanging dividers have arrived. I'm just labeling them up and using them as a skew system for when uh, all our cloves are on the rails. Hey, they look all right, to be fair. Uh, CR4, CR5, CR3, CR2, CR1. So we have to get about 100 per rail, which is nice. And it's another day completed in the life of Rummage Around. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Probably another short video because we spent a lot of the day driving, delivering, racking. I will leave all of the uh, posts about the guy that I saw today. He has a wicked barber sort of uh, premise. So if you are in the, the North Wales, I think it's a town called Tawini or something like that. I might have absolutely butchered that, but I'll leave all his stuff in the description below. And I'll also have some pop-ups on screen as well. Absolutely legend, Tyler. I hope you are doing really well in your reselling business and obviously the barber stuff. You're a legend. So thank you so much for supporting me, my channel and my business by buying the racking off me. Uh, but yes, anyway, guys, I will see you beautiful lot tomorrow. Uh, which I'm not too sure what today is tomorrow. Tomorrow is what, Thursday, Friday? I've lost all track of time. But anyway, enough waffling on. I'll see you beautiful tomorrow. Fish, bash.